All right, fine. SS update. Well, I don't feel like I was really prepared. I don't feel like I got enough done in order to justify an update or whatnot. Just painted some shit, cleaned some shit, messing around in the trunk, messing around on the inside a little bit. Got the column in there, just running some more wires. Same old nonsense. Ain't done the floor yet, so the dash ain't in there yet. No seats or nothing like that. Still waiting. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, we got pretty much everything plugged in, I guess. I've been tinkering around, tinkering around with some, some intake pieces I've had laying around. Found some shit that fits pretty damn good. Actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> Match my headers. Look at that. So yeah, it's as dusty as can be. The heater core are all situated, taken care of, got cooling in them and everything. So everything's ran, steering, all the lines and the valves are ran, the wires to them and everything like that. I could hit switches if I hooked up a battery and ran air and shit like that, but like I said, not really feeling it. Let me get to it. <coughs> Yeah, you probably, no, nah, it's not the Monty right there. That's uh, this other Chevelle. Got all kinds of work going on this one. I'm going to make this one its own video, so don't worry. I'll just give you a little, a little pull up the skirt, quick, quick peek. Oh, my, don't worry, that one to get its whole, whole own video. Yep. So, yeah, not much new. Just, just been just kind of tinkering. Kind of taking my time with this one. I'll make this one as nice as I possibly can with what I got. You're probably wondering about the other one. I got that one hiding back here right now. All those Chevelles here. But, yep, I went ahead and put that big block in there, like I said. I haven't made my little filler panel. This is like, uh, well, I never really explained explain it, but this one's going to be just full on. Just drift car, really. I'm going to do a full cage and everything. I'm not even gonna pop the trunk, but got the coil overs cracking back there. Went ahead and cut that out. Ran my bridge bar. Got the coil overs mocked up. They're in there holding up the car and everything like that. Sitting pretty nice. Did go ahead and this is all steel, so there's no filler yet, of course, as you can see, but the thing's pretty damn good, if I don't say so myself. That's the edge I was going to put in there to remove that damage, just creased up, mangled edge on. So that's all done. Just need some filler, some final little cleanup. Yeah. You're just sitting here, just sitting here waiting for me. Some three inch exhaust piping in the box. I already got the headers on there. Got some Craigslist uh, headers. These are for a dude said they came off a 64 El Camino or Chevelle. This side fit pretty decent. This side I had to notch the frame out. Pretty, pretty good there. Put some pictures up of that. But yeah, other than that, thing fits in there pretty good. I got my HEI on there. I just need to throw a, um, I got this fuel cell I need a couple fittings for, so I'm gonna throw that in there. But, but yeah, that's how the 85 sitting. It's actually, shit. The way this car is gonna be finished, it might be more further along than the other one. Still need a, a left fender. I got all the rest of the body pieces. That's my other nose over there. Somewhere yeah, sitting over there, which is actually the one from the wreck, but it's it straightened itself out. I just laid it in the sun. I don't even do anything to it. Just pop back out. It's got a little hole. Still that thing. We're good.